Uh, patapos na yung uh, state visit dito sa uh, Vietnam. Uh, we are just uh, attending the uh, state dinner that will be given by the president to for myself and uh, for the delegation. And uh, it has been uh, a very productive uh, visit considering that we have been here essentially only for 24 hours. Uh, but this has been a product of a great deal of discussion and hard work on both sides, on the Philippine side and on the Vietnam side. Ang, uh, ang nagsimula, pa, nagsimula ito dahil ay uh, uh, lagi kong nakikita at nakakasama si Prime Minister Pham sa mga ASEAN, sa mga APEC. At uh, during that time, linapitan ko siya at sinabi ko dapat mayroon tayong usapan Tayong, mga, tayong Vietnam at saka Pilipinas na hindi tayo magkakagulo. Kahit na nagkakagulo yung iba, tayo dapat ay gumawa tayo ng uh, agreement na hindi tayo ga, hindi tayo pa, mm, <coughs> hindi tayo papasok dyan sa gulo na yan. And that is the and then uh, after several meetings I think four or five meetings na uh, meron din silang pinopost tungkol nga sa trade in rice specifically. Uh, sinasabi nga, dahil nabanggit ko rin, na tayo ay number two yata na importer galing sa Vietnam. Uh, at uh, kaya importante rin sa kanila yung uh, ating, uh, uh, ating exchange. At pa, siyempre para sa atin, very important yan because uh, it is uh, a way to assure uh, that we have a sufficient uh, supply of rice. Nagsimula sa ganyan, ngunit siyempre lumawak na ang usapan at napunta sa mga iba't ibang bagay hanggang sa security, hanggang sa agri, hanggang sa uh, uh, transfer of technology, uh, napunta sa uh, infrastructure development dito sa, dito sa Vietnam, uh, pati na ang uh, pag, uh, pagbuo ng isang sistema para meron tayo, makamina tayo ng mga tinatawag na green minerals at mula ron ay makakagawa tayo ng baterya sa Pilipinas at ito ay uh, ilalagay sa electric vehicles. Hanggat inaantay natin na mangyari yun, uh, the electric vehicles are already available and they want to enter into the Philippine market with the electric vehicles uh, from here in, uh, in uh, Vietnam. Uh, ito ay uh, galing sa VIN Group. At marami pang ibang uh, napag-usapan, pati na yung digital technology, pati scholarship sa AI at saka sa uh, tech uh, industries. Uh, ito talaga ay uh, hindi namin inaasahan na mangyayari, ngunit it, it happened. And that's why, it, considering that uh, we were here for such a, such a short time, uh, we covered many, many subjects, which uh, provides the opening for uh, further discussion, and I think that uh, uh, Vietnam is going is very interested in coming to the Philippines. But ang punot dulo nito lahat ay yung security and defense na usapan ng Vietnam at nakana ng Pilipinas para hindi tayo magkaka problema uh, kagaya ng uh, kagaya ng nangyayari sa ibang bansa sa West Philippine Sea. Kaya uh, uh, yun talaga para sa akin ay napakahalaga at uh, uh, yung agrikultura, siyempre hindi natin pwedeng uh, uh, basta uh, isang tabi yan dahil, again, it's very important. We have commitments now to, uh, uh, to be supplied by uh, the uh, Vietnam, Vietnamese uh, rice traders. Um, Pinag-uusapan ng amounts at uh, iniikot ni uh, uh, Secretary Kiko Laurel yung uh, kanilang mga... mga uh, ibang lugar, dinala siya sa mga research station, sa kanilang mga farm. Uh, at uh, ang sabi niya sa akin, marami siyang natutunan at uh, marami siyang nakikita possibilities ng mga potential na pwedeng uh, palaguhin. So, that, uh, those, just from those two, I think uh, already we have achieved very much in this very short time. But uh, considering that many other subjects came into play as well, uh, Again, uh, marami tayong pwedeng, uh, pwedeng uh, i-develop na potential. Ang uh, ating naging uh, 
arrangement sa kanila ay yung aking laging sinasabi na kasi yung, yung Vietnam at saka yung Pilipinas uh, in terms of the economy, in terms of all of that, it is, uh, we are very similar. So, sasabihin eh, bakit kayo nagtutulungan? Eh, dahil ang sinusundan natin is let us compete but let us also cooperate uh, every possible chance that we have. At uh, naunawa naman talaga nila and they, they agreed that that is the way forward. So that is the, in essence, uh, uh, what we have been able to do and what we have been able to achieve uh, on this uh, trip to, uh, to Vietnam uh, this time. So now I'll uh, open the floor to your questions. Christina Maralit from Manila Times. Um, good afternoon, po, Mr. President. Afternoon. Um, sir, in your recent uh, trip to Japan, nabanggit niyo po that the, uh, the ASEAN must forge its own code of co conduct with regards to the South China Sea. And katulad nga po ng nabanggit niyo, um, mm -hmm. it's imperative na magkaroon tayo ng agreement with Vietnam regarding this. How soon po niyo inaasahan for this to be crafted? And have you taken this up with the Vietnamese President and the Prime Minister? We're pretty much there. Uh, yun, yung, yun yung memorandum uh, of uh, understanding na ating ginawa between our two Coast Guards, uh, pati yung mga plano na magkakaroon ng uh, joint cruises at uh, joint exercises uh, this year, 2024. So, uh, talagang na, na, yung sinasabi ko noon na magkaroon ng agreement, kung, kung hindi natin matapos ang Code of Conduct uh, Asia, with, with ASEAN and China, ay sabi ko, hindi gawin natin bilateral lang muna ng members of ASEAN para naman ay, hindi na natin kailangan alalahanin na magkakaproblema tayo sa Vietnam, magkakaproblema tayo sa Brunei, magkakaproblema tayo sa Malaysia, etc. Et so uh, that, has, that's, that is what, uh, that's the effort that we're trying to do. And I, we have succeeded on, in that uh, uh, to a certain measure here in Vietnam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Kenneth Pasyente, PTV4. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, sir, may update po ba doon sa napagkasunduan ng Department of Agriculture ng Pilipinas at ng Vietnamese National Assembly noong 2022 kung saan yung isusulong po yung kooperasyon sa pagsasaka at pangingisda? Isa ba po ba yun sa na-discuss nyo rin? Marami tayong napag-usapan. Uh, yun lamang sa, kahit sa research and development. Ang, ang Vietnam ay uh, pumupunta naman talaga sila, yung kanilang mga researcher, yung kanilang uh, mga scientifico, at saka yung kanilang mga magsasaka, ay pumupunta sa uh, IRI. Uh, at madala sila nandun and to develop uh, some of the new varieties, to develop some of the new techniques uh, in uh, uh, the cultivation of rice. Uh, so that will continue, but uh, mas dadami pa. Uh, in terms of fisheries, ang napag-usapan natin ay yung maging, na, naging maliwanag sa atin kung paano ang treatment natin kasi merong kaunting kuminsan may mga Vietnamese fishermen na uh, napapadpad sa uh, Philippine waters and vice versa uh, kung paano ang handling niyan para hindi magkagulo uh, just to treat them humanely and to send them back to their uh, uh, to their respective countries so yes, uh, in terms of development Ayun, ay yun ang dapat nating uh, pag-usapan pa. Uh, that, that we have to we have to lay down the specifics because that is one of the subjects that I was referring to na hindi naman talaga nating wala sa agenda pero lumitaw na subject matter na para sa atin ay very interesting yan kaya uh, yun. Nag ito yung simula pa lang. Marami maraming nasimulan ngayon kaya dadami ang diskusyon natin with Vietnam in in many other uh, many other aspects of our relationship. Thank you sir Raquel Bayan, Radio Pilipinas. Good afternoon sir. Sir, yeah. ngayon po meron na tayo na sa Liohana Maritime Cooperation with um Vietnamese Coast Guard. Tapos meron pa po tayo sir na isang um ito pong incident prevention and management of the South China Sea na kanina rin po. Perinesenta, meron po ba mga particular na hakbang sa loob nitong mga agreement para uh, ma-prevent ma na po natin yung aggression ng China sa South China Sea? Well, uh, the, the agreement is between Vietnam and the Philippines. So, kung anong gawin ng uh, ibang bansa, uh, hindi naman kasama yon. Basta ang ating usapan uh, with Vietnam is uh, pagka meron Pagka may nangyari, mayroon tayong maliwanag na paraan 
kung paano pag-usapan para hindi lumaki ang gulo. Uh, hindi naman tayo talaga nagka- we don't have any confrontations with Vietnam uh, as a matter of fact. Despite the fact that we have conflicts in uh, in uh, territorial waters uh, about territorial waters, but it has never it has never re- been uh, uh, beyond, it has never gone beyond any uh, diplomatic contacts. Hindi na, hindi na pupunta sa, sa gulo, kagaya na, sa mga nangyayari sa nakaraan. So, um, it is a bilateral arrangement between the Philippines and Vietnam. Thank you, sir. Other topics? Kat Domingo of yeah. ABS-CBN. Okay. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, how is your relationship with Vice President Sara Duterte after uh, her family spewed vitriol against you, your wife, and your administration? Uh, well, uh, it's exactly the same because she hasn't said anything uh, in that of that nature. Uh, and wala naman siyang uh, uh, sinasabi na uh, ganyang klase. So, hindi naman nagbabago. Sir, follow up. Will you keep her as your education secretary despite calls? Yes, wait, I'm sorry. Will you keep her as your education yes. secretary despite calls from yes. her family for yes. you to step down? Yes. Sir, last question. Ivan Mayrina. May 7. Yeah, magandang hap, Mr. President. Over the last few days, there were several calls for you to intervene in the clash of uh, the mm. two houses of Congress over People's Initiative. Mm-hmm. How do you intend to resolve this, sir? Well, uh, we have been in continuous discussion with both houses uh, in the recent days. Uh, in fact, before I left, um, I met with uh, uh, our legal luminaries uh, and uh, tried to find a way Dahil naman ang habol ko talaga dyan are the economic provisions that uh, I, have, I have been talking about this for many, many years already. So, napupunta sa ibang usapan eh, na, at nagagamit na pampolitika itong issue na ito. So, uh, I have asked uh, the leaders of both houses and again, uh, some of the best constitutional minds that we have in the Philippines to uh, come up with a, a simpler solution that does not cause so much uh, uh, that does not cause so much uh, uh, controversy. I, I think uh, the, it, it is the usual it is the usual uh, conflict between the House and the Senate in the uh, whether to vote together or separately. Now the best advice that we are getting, uh, the best uh, analysis and interpretation that we can that we have, is that the legislature is of a bicameral nature, and therefore that implies that they will vote separately. So how that will be done now uh, is what we are trying to uh, what we are trying to figure out. Well, how how will it be done so that uh, both houses uh, uh, roll? Uh, in this bicameral system is uh, preserved. And uh, that, is what, uh, uh, that is what we are working on right now. Sir, and what about the People's Initiative? What, what happens to People's Initiative? We don't know yet. We haven't made those decisions yet. I'm going, but uh, I think uh, as of now, the People's Initiative um, is uh, they, 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 they're continuing, but uh, that is not. I don't. I don't know if that is still one of the options uh, that remains to us. What is the best motion? Ah, that's why we are asking, mga former chief justices, si Chief Luke na tinatrabaho, si our legal counsel in uh, uh, our soon-to-be centenarian uh, uh, legal counsel, uh, si Manong JP. At uh, yung mga uh, constitutionalists, eh, tinatanong nga natin, ano sa palagay ninyo ang pinakatamang gawin? So the details are not yet, have not yet been uh, decided upon. Uh, that is precisely what we will be working on when I get back. Sir, last na lang po, follow up kay Kat. As far as you're concerned, is there still a unit team? Is there still a? Unit team. Well, well uh, I think so. I believe so. Uh, because if you remember, unit team is not just one party or two parties or three parties. It's the unification of all uh, political, hopefully all the political forces uh, in, the, in the Philippines uh, to come together uh, for the good of the country. And 
that still that is still there. It is still vibrant. It is still working, and uh, we will continue on that basis. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Malakanyang Presco.